What'd you do Saturday night? Well, I watched some cows graze, watched the bull strut his stuff, and I killed three or four gophers, and we traveled to finish coming in. It's almost there. I kicked it in the butt when I come out here and sped it up. I think about the time I get done goofing off here, it'll be in and I can go shut the bump off. Yeah, it's got about probably five feet to go. But I thought I'd show you. That's just a little bitty calf next to a big cow, right? Yeah, that's more of a medium sized cow there. Just a little bitty calf. Uh, got some hiding here. That one there is probably the smallest one out here. I'm sure it's the youngest one too. She's gonna go steal my bike. I gotta watch out for that. If you ever see the, there's a YouTube on here. A friend of mine sent it to me. It's a song video deal. You know what I mean? Cows with guns. <laughs> I don't dare let them get over here and steal that from me. I'd probably be in trouble then. Well, the gopher that was right here, where that heifer's standing, went from there over to the calf in the middle of the screen. I popped him a couple nights ago. I wasn't sure if I actually contacted or not. He come back with just a little hole yesterday. There's a few spots here that the cows have stomped, and there's no fresh diggings. One spot's down by that calf. And, yeah, I know, girl, I'm disturbing you. Where was the other spot? Ah, right here. There's some hoof stomping. So that's two hoof marks. Well, actually, let's keep going. There's one there. One there, and one there. And there's no new holes here. And there's one along the fence, other side of those critters there. He's chosen not to build mountains anymore. He's just doing little tiny push ups. I thought I got him too, but apparently not. I did just get one down in the far corner here, though. So I think it's five or six I've gotten today between this morning and this evening so, anyway I'm going to go shut a pump off and move a traveler and it's a lot better out here at 8 o'clock than at freaking quarter after 9 like last night last night it was chilly out here I got cold it feels good out here right now I'm good with that right Watch out for her, too. It's one of the kids. Is, she's a stout little. And, uh, she don't have a very big udder on her, which is fine. But if you can see the milk veins on her belly, there's a milker. Boy, have I got a Sunday morning story for you. Nice heavy dew. You can see my tracks. Yeah, Dino, he's in the middle of the screen there looking over his shoulder. He's not looking at the cow next to him. He's looking up there at Bam Bam's group. He was being an a-hole this morning, standing at the gate by the bridge when I came in. And then stopped at the end of this pipe where there's a low spot so he could dig a hole. He didn't let me run into him. I tried. God knows I did. Uh, anyway, heart attack time this morning come out. I don't see any water flying, but then, you know, you can see the end of the trailer there, and there's a building, and travelers right in line can't see to it. Oh yeah, it's also nice and warm this morning, 46 degrees. Makes my nose run, and the orb is coming up by the tree. Uh, I get where I can see it. No water flying. WTF. We haven't had any issues, knock on wood. Right? 
I mean, other than I do know that one connection in that box happens to be the one to that side. Um, you got to kind of work it to get it to throw all the way. This timer has always made noise on here, but has never worked. This was over here. Judging by where the traveler is, I would say that the shut off probably two hours ago. Because we have 12, 1, and 2. And it would be about right, because I figured with how I had it set, it would probably be in at about 5 o'clock. And yeah, I was a little slow at dragging my ass out this morning, so it's six. So it shut off around four. And of course, it's been off for two hours with the pinhole that's down there about where, well, yeah, where the black stripe is on the pipe. Um, there's not enough water left in here to run it, so I've got to prime it. Just so it can run for maybe another hour, and I'm probably going to go up and cheat that anyway. Otherwise, I'll be out here at, you know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock tonight. Although I was thinking on this other piece, since it doesn't have near the grass growing, I might do 24-hour sets like we did last year on it and see if it'll get it going. That's enough story time. Time to do. Just having a little fun here. That uh, Ruby's calf, he's dragging us up again, so we're going to look at that. And I don't want her to go out. Behind you, 511C appears to have, she's right there, appears to have pneumonia once again. What the hell? And Ty said there's a yearling in here. Well, coming to year old, you know what I mean? It's got a bunch of warts around her eyes, so. Oh, she escaped? So we don't got to worry about her. We just got to get 511C and Ruby's cow in. Which the reason we're separating here is because they all ran out of the other barn and all came in here. And 511C just wants to get to her calf. That's all she wants. She's that way. Well, her left lung sounds like shit, so she just got some LA. About the last of what we got, so and get some more. She's not sure about going back out now. Got some good grain in here, doesn't know what to do. But she ate all of it. And he wasn't too bad to get caught. Now we just gotta figure out what to do with him. I'm thinking. Another shot of banamine for some pain. And uh, it helps with any swelling there might be too. And we're going to splint it, I guess. See if that'll help him. All we can figure is he must have sprained it. Well, we'll see what that does. There's a hard plastic splint on the front to hold the hoof this way so it won't. Where his deep down. claws are is where he sprained it. That's what it appears. That feel a little better, buddy? And right there he is actually picking his leg up and stepping down on it. Of course, he just got a shot of phantomine too, but he didn't get the shot till right before, well, I turned the camera on the same time he got the shot, so it hasn't done anything for him yet. I just hope it stays on there long enough to do yeah. some good. Oh, yeah. Hi, Ruby. Do you want your baby? Do you want your baby? Yeah. He wants to go with mommy anyway. So. Hey, kid. Take it off, You leave that on there, bud. That's better than he walked in here. Way better. Oh. That's all we can do. I also want to get some plaster of Paris and make a real cast on him. I don't like doing that. That doesn't come out well. Oh, somebody went to shut the gate. Yep. 
both shots, so I gotta bend over. These girls can have this section back. I just gotta wait for her to get back over here. Well, there it is. There's JB Weld smeared bridge in the holes. And three, four, five, however many layers of tape over it. Better hold. Can't tell where we found other holes, can you? Huh? She got tired of getting rained on up here when she'd be moving the spout back and forth. The smaller spot there, that's the one that was taped. And yeah, welded patches. Say so we put this machine together from two worn out, rusted out machines. And it's there. But it's ain't worth trying to weld patches on what's there. By the time you do it, you get such a big hole, it's not funny. It almost looks like another hole. I hope not, though. At the edge of that band. Where's my finger? There's my finger. Focus on my finger right there. Yeah, shit. I guess I'll have to mix up a little more JB Weld. What I did was I smeared JB Weld over the hole, then we taped it on. I mean, tape will keep those from leaking, but I'm hoping the JB Weld's going to prolong the life a wee bit. Okay, well, who was a strong bitch that took that shit off the block? Oh, yeah, somebody, you know, not real bright. I give her Dad a bad said time. I said, I just lift it up. I said, well, you pick it up, I'll pull the block out. So she did. This thing's so back heavy, it's not funny anyway, but it's still too freaking heavy to do that shit. I've done it. Now she can say she's done it. Not the brightest thing to do. Anyway, I know this is a long enough video. It's probably close enough to the end of my day to say thank you for watching. Hope you've all had a good Sunday, and here's to hopefully a, a good week coming up. As we're going to head back up toward 100 degrees again. Thank you, Mother Nature.